Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to be showing you how to combine truly mix two separate animations into one, not sequentially, but actually two animations into one. And I was inspired to do this because I was reading the Lightwave manual and here it talks about the channel editor. And as I was reading along, I realized, well, that's exactly what I want to be able to do. It says the channel editor can be used to combine two or more motions together. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to see if that's really true. So one thing I did realize I'm using Mixamo characters. I always do. If you import some something through the FBX import, it's going to come in with a different naming structure than if you import it through the interchange. And with the Mixamo rigs, you can't really do that. You've got to have your naming convention be the same. So if you're going to go FBX import, you got to stay with FBX import. If you're going to go to the interchange, go to the interchange, but don't, you can't really mix those. You're going to get into problems with the mixer. It just won't mix. You just get a headache and you end up cursing and then you end up having to redo the video. And you're cursing not at Lightwave, but at yourself. <laughs> So anyway, to get started, I'm going to walk through the whole thing We're as fast as I can here. The very first part is we go to the interchange here and we're going to go to fi read file and we're going to file. And the first one we're going to get is this looking around one where it's just a character standing around looking around. So we're going to go open. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and press that button and then it'll get imported. And then what we do is we set our frame beginning frame to zero. And if I hit play, you see, he's just looking around. And his lower body's not really moving too much, just a little bit, which will be interesting to see what happens with that. So it goes to about 100 frames. So then what we do is we go to the scene editor, go scene editor, where is it? Scene editor. And then we'll make sure we're on the, this is important, make sure you're on the, the top of the rig here, the skeleton, the top of the hierarchy. And you go select, select all objects and close that. And then you hit F2 for the motion mixer. And we'll just go create actor and we'll go okay and then we're going to go create motion and what do we say 100 frames so we're going to go 100 and then we're going to call this top movement okay and then we'll just go okay and now that motion was successfully created and then we'll go add items save motion and I'm going to call this, it's already called top movement. So we'll just go save. So now that file has been saved out and we're done with that, saving that animation. So that's good to go. So I'm going to clear the scene again. I'm going to go back to the interchange. I'm going to go get the walking animation now. So that's this one, the lower body, and we're going to go open. We'll go. Okay. We'll click there to bring it in. I'm going to close this again, set the beginning frame to zero. Then on the object, we're going to click on the top of the rig. And if we play this one, it's a very short animation. So we're going to have to extend it out to about a hundred frames. Now to do this, I'm going to show you something here. We're going to go into the scene editor, the dope editor. I think that's a funny name. I thought maybe it's because people smoked dope when they were doing that, but then we go channels and here's a tip trick. This is the entire animation here. So it's very easy to loop the animation just by copying all this. So what we're going to do is click on this very first purple square on that, that there, hold down shift and click the very last one. And it highlights and selects the whole thing. It's very important that it be highlighted. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to go selection and copy. Now you'll have this scroll bar down here on the end. Now, one thing to note, take note of this, is this will only scroll as far as your in-frame count goes. So you, sometimes you might have to add more frames just so you can scroll further down the timeline. Then what we do is we're going to click right there. And then on the end of this thing right here, I don't know what you call that, the highlighter, just drag it out a good 32 frames at least. Then we're going to click right there in that frame, the first frame. We're going to right click, hold down, go paste, insert and then it copies it. Then we'll scroll down again, click here, click on the very end, drag it out a good 32 frames, click right there at the beginning of it, right click, hold down, paste, insert, and there we go. And then we'll just close it up by dragging that back down. And that's all we have to do to loop an animation. I did another video where it's a lot more complicated, but it's really actually easy once you know what's going on. So then if I hit play, I can go back to the beginning you can see he's now looping. The animation's looping. Okay, great, fantastic. The other thing I should mention while I'm looking at this, if you hit D on the keyboard and you go to general, you want to make sure that this is checked play at exact rate. 
because sometimes that's not checked and the animation doesn't seem to be playing quite right. Okay, so now once we've got that taken care of, we can go in the, back into the scene editor, go here, make sure we're on the top of the rig, select, select all bones of object, F2 again, bring up the motion mixer, create actor, okay. And then what we're gonna do is create motion, and I think we'll just take it to 100 frames. And then we're gonna go here to bottom walk walking or i'll just call it bottom bottom movement because i i don't want to get confused okay go okay it's been created and then we're going to go ahead and save that out to save that motion out and go save and then we're all done so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go in and load in a fresh rig here I don't know that I need to do this, but I'm just going to do it just to be on the safe side. So I'll go to the interchange and we'll go read file, file. And I think I have the, just the Y bot in T pose. Go open. Okay. So this rig has no animation on it at all. And again, we do the kind of the same thing just to keep safe as we go to zero frame and then make sure we're on the main rig right there. Now what we can do is we're gonna go and set this as up set this all up as an actor. So we'll go again, go to the scene editor, select all bones and current object, close that, F2, and then we can go create actor. Okay. Now we've already have those motions that we've made already, so we can come down here to add items, load motions, and we got the top. Can I take I can load both at the same time. Okay, so now I've loaded in these two motions. Now this is kind of a funky thing that really takes some practice to get used to. Like one thing I think you gotta hit Alt and left click and drag to move on the timeline. It just takes a while to get comfortable with this. And once you do get comfortable with it, you start seeing everything that's possible, things that you didn't realize were possible become possible. It's really cool. So like, like I'm saying, trying to co truly combine two animations. So what we're gonna do right now is we just come up here to click. You always have to click a button before you do something. You don't just do something. It, you have to click a button usually and then click things along the way. But we'll go to add motion and we'll put in this is it's on top movement so i'll just click right there and it comes in like that and then you gotta let me switch to bottom movement go add motion and i'm gonna click right under there now this is the most fascinating thing to me watch what happens when i hit play <laughs> isn't that cool it it literally already combined the animations together the walking and the I didn't even have to go into the channel editor so theoretically what you could do is you click in the top movement here go into the channel editor and check off all the parts you don't the lower body parts that you don't want animated from maybe here from the right up leg down you just click off of all these because you don't really want them need them you've got the bottom so let's see what happens. Hit play if we notice much of a difference. That's the channel editor. It looks like he's going off in a... Oh, as he turns. Interesting, huh? He's kind of turning in different directions. I almost liked it better the other way. Let me go back and I could go into the... Click on that and go to the channel editor and I can restore those. So basically this allows you to turn off and on animations and then the animations beneath it will then kick in, which is really cool. So now, so that's pretty self-explanatory. See, I actually like that form of walking. It's interesting how it's, it's straighter, I should say. Now, the last thing I'll show you is I've done another video about offset editor, channel editor, but the edit motion one, I was a little intimidated by. But what I realized you do with this, we can make sure these are, I guess, both selected. And if we go into edit motion it kind of puts control back into light wave and you're off of out of the motion mixer so you're so it's kind of a it kind of suspends motion mixer and then lets you animate the object and then you can come back in so let me show you what i mean by that is if i click edit motion here and i make sure i'm on the zero frame right edit motion now i have control and just layout to animate whatever i want to animate and let's say 
I see that this is switched, so I want to go back to the top of the rig, and I'm going to drag this down to about 100. And this won't be perfect, but I'm just going to pull him forward a little bit like that. You know, I'd have to play around with it to get the exact right animation on him. But then that's done. That animation is done. Now, if I go click off Edit Motion, I'm gonna, a box is going to come up. Accept the changes and restore the channel. So yes. So now, if we hit, if I go back and I hit play, you'll see he's actually walking now. So I mean, you'd have to adjust the distance a little bit to match his feet so they're not so slipping and sliding. But hopefully you get the idea of how you can literally combine two animations into one using the channel editor and maybe not even using the channel editor, maybe just by putting them on top of each other inside of Motion Mixer. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope you found it helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.